welcome back to my channel. My setup looks a little different, so let me know how you like it. I... Today's video is going to be a huge, huge haul. So I'm going to split this up into three different videos. I've been shopping a lot, and I honestly could not wait to do this video for you guys because I was trying not to use too many products, so they're like still in boxes, so we can do this like un unboxing together type of thing. Um, but I just couldn't sell them. I just had to try. Now, when it comes to makeup, I feel like YouTube can be a dangerous place. And whenever you kind of start doing YouTube, you start to watch a lot of channels and you are trying to get what everybody's kind of hyping about. And so some of my favorite YouTubers are Tati, Kathleen Lights. Um, I recently discovered uh, Rachel Lowe. They constantly review different products. And so I'm always like, oh, I need to have this and I need to have that. Oh, Tati said this is great. So here we are. I ended up purchasing a lot of the, their recommendations. And then other products I'm just kind of purchasing because they intrigue me and, and they seem interesting to me. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what I got. And it, it, let me just tell you, it was my birthday recently. So I normally do not spend that much money on makeup. Um, I just would feel really, really bad. But since it was my birthday, it was my anniversary, and you know, I just kind of lumped everything together. And honestly, when people were asking me what do you want for your birthday, I was like, makeup, or just give me money or gift cards, and this way I can grab more makeup. Um, so here we are. Let's talk about what Tati was raving about. It's like the Love Mare product. I believe I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm not sure. So I got this foundation. It is a very, very expensive foundation. I can't believe I bought this. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. She said it's like the most amazing foundation you'll ever have in your life. I mean, La Mer is infused with their Miracle Broth, which apparently is this like mysterious type of serum that they put in all their products and it should like give you this natural like beautiful glow and replenish your skin and do all wonderful things to your skin so far I've tried this once I was not too impressed with it I was like expecting this like weird miracle stuff now I do have very very dry skin and unfortunately not a lot of products are working for me i'm gonna give this some more tries and if you guys are interested i can definitely do a review for you just so you know how it works for really really dry skin and if you have to be like at work for 10 hours 12 hours because this was breaking up on me within a few hours unfortunately and of course i also had to get this la mer powder because tati was like swearing by it she said it's like the most miraculous the best powder she's ever tried. There was nothing like it. Now this, I'm going to say, is one of the best foundations that I've tried. And I'm talking like luxury style. This is Shea Dew Radiant Lifting Foundation. It has SPF of 17. And it's just like a very nice product. I'm in a shade like the lightest shade they have. Very light ivory, 100. And it works beautifully for my skin. I finally found a shade that matches me. Not a lot of uh, foundations do. And so I'm very happy with this product so far. I've actually been using this. That's why I even took the box. I'm like, you know what? This is it. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this one. I'm definitely using this for every day. Another foundation that I really enjoy is um, this Dior Capture Total. It's a nice, beautiful foundation. Gives you really good coverage. Now, I don't like full, full coverage. I think it doesn't look too good on my skin, and I like to have that natural looking makeup. So this really provides that for me, and oh God, I like this one too. Next, I picked up some Hourglass products. So we have the Ambien Light Powder. Now this is a beautiful, gorgeous powder. That I have to agree with everybody. I can see why they love it. And then this foundation, this is their Vanish Stick, that's what it's called, I believe. I tried it a few times. It works awesome as a concealer. It is very full coverage. I have to try it some more, try it out, but it just doesn't look too good on me. And maybe I should not try stick foundations because honestly, my skin is extra dry. Especially when it's cold, it's ridiculously dry. No matter how much oil and lotion oil that I put on, it still doesn't 
recover that moisture at all. So maybe I'll try it summertime, but then I'll be tan and this is in sheet alabaster. We'll see how that goes. Then I bought this tiny little travel size um, hourglass primer. And I mean, the, the, the full size is $54. So I could not justify spending that much money. And I wanted to really try it out since knowing how I tend to be very picky about my foundations and primers. I, I do like this one, actually. It's it's pretty good. I'm not going to say it's the best primer I've ever tried, but it's actually very, very good. So I do not see myself purchasing a full one in the near future because they're just so expensive and I have a lot of other primers that I have to use up, but definitely a good product. I've been shopping a lot on Nordstrom racks on their website. If you go to hotlook.com and you skip to their Nordstrom racks page, that's where you don't have to wait for like sales to come up. You can just like type in makeup and look for everything that I have on sale right now. And I got this MAC in the shade light. Oh, this is Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder. And it was like 50% off. And I'm like, hey, I'm taking that. They had my shade. It's a beautiful powder. Very nice. Chanel. Now this powder, I really did enjoy. It just gives you that beautiful finish. It's very pricey. This is a pretty big container here that we have. Another foundation. And this is more like tinted moisturizer type of thing by YSL. This this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely one of the best tinted moisturizers I've tried. It's medium coverage, I want to say, like light to medium, which is great for everyday type of um, look. It is a smaller container though, so I can see myself using it up pretty quickly. And it's not cheap at all, so that's that's the minus side to it, but it, it is a beautiful, beautiful product for dry skin. It's absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't make my skin, make my skin patchy or it doesn't make it look dry. It doesn't break up by the end of the day like some of the other products do on my skin. So I love it. Up next, we have a Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. And again, this is another product that Tati says this is the best primer ever. I want to say, like, I've tried it once or twice. It is pretty good in terms of, like, smoothing your lines, but it doesn't really do a good job. So, guys, I think I have to really speed up the process, and I'm not going to review any more products. I'm just going to show you what I got because I feel like I'm, this video is going to be... Because this video is promising to be very, very long, and I have a lot more products to show you. All right, so I have this full bin of stuff. And can you tell that I have an issue? So I know, I know it's a lot of makeup. Um, I got this awesome set for $35. This is by Laura Geller, New York. And this has a lot of products in here. It's their vintage beauty set, six pieces to be exact. That's what it looks like inside. I'm so excited to open this up and just play around with it. So couldn't wait for that. Then I bought, the, uh, again, this is from Nordstrom Rex, you guys. They, they have awesome products there. Laura Tantalizer. So this is Highlight A Matte Bronzer Duo. It's pretty large too, so curious about that. I got a um, Lights Camera Lashes Inner Rim Liner. I've been wanting one of them. This was a sale on Hot Look. Then I picked up this uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Skin Twinkle Lightning Palette. This is great. I think this is like the first one that they came out with. Oh, can't wait to try this out, you guys. This I got for $24 from Macy's. It's Clinique Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know why it was on sale though. Look at these gorgeous colors. They are promising to be great. The reviews were really good. So I don't know what's up with that, why they ran that sale, but I'm like, I'll take it, you know. Then I got this Peter Thomas Ross Eye Lift Serum. Eyelid Lift Serum. This was another product for sale on Macy's.com. So I jumped on that. Again, this is luxury skincare uh, and beauty. And also Macy's was running 15% off. And they have that semi-annual sale where almost every single beauty product is 15% off, which doesn't happen too often. 
Then this is from Hot Look again. It's um, Naked Skin Urban Decay Ultra Defining Powder Foundation. This came as a gift from Macy's because I was so excited to get this. It's um, Estee Lauder Day Wear Eye. This is their new eye cream. I put this on in the morning. It should depuff your under eye bags, but I believe it also claims to reduce your dark circles. It really does a good job depuffing, so I'm definitely happy I got this. And because I got that cream, which actually wasn't that expensive for an eye cream, I paid $34, but that's when Macy's had that sale. It's a pretty good price for a luxury skincare brand. And I got this full makeup bag of products in here because I got that cream. So it came with like skincare, you know, gave me blush. I have a mask here. I have a lipstick, like, whoa. So definitely a good, good purchase there. Then I bought Laura Baked Mate Satin Blush. This is from Hot Look again. And it's, it's a gorgeous pink shade. So I can't wait to try that out also. Oh, Bobbi Brown too. Uh, they do have some more Bobbi Brown products for sale right now. If you go to Hot Look and if you look under the Nordstrom Rex section, they do have some products there. But this is Pink Coral. It's a very pretty blush. Oh, I don't even remember where I got this from. I believe this was another product from Nordstrom Rex. This is the Speckle Eyelid Invisible Eye Primer by Laura Geller. Then we have Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Loose Powder. Another product from Hot Look. And so anytime you get anything from Nordstrom Rex or Hot Look, you guys know it's going to have an awesome discount. And they range anywhere from like 40 to like 80% off, which is great. Same thing here, got this for $15. This is MAC Shader Brush. Very good price for a MAC brush, it's awesome. I haven't owned a MAC brush yet, so I'm like, perfect way to try it out. Then we have Bobbi Brown Rich Lick Color. And what color is this? I think this is that Miami pink, which would be gorgeous. Yep, that's the Miami pink one. It's not, like it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So I don't know how I ended up so lucky and grabbed it on sale, but then we got Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream and I also have their corrector. I can't find a corrector, it's somewhere at the bottom. Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Cheek Palette. There's like three blushes in here, but let me just show you. Again, Laura Geller Brow Marble Pencil. This is just for your eyebrows, so it comes with pencil side and a spoolie. MAC Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. So all these products that I just mentioned, I got on Hot Look slash Nordstrom Rack. So, I mean, they have a lot, they've been selling a lot of MAC there, so definitely go ahead and check it out. And again, MAC Lightful Tinted Cream, SPF 30. Urban Decay Perversion Angled Brush. Got it for like six bucks or something. Very good for Urban Decay. Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Bone. This is another one for your inner rim, like the lower waterline color to brighten up your eyes. Then we have this little gift set from Lancome because, oh, because I got their powder. Where's the powder? Where are you, Lancome powder? I have Clarence Paris uh, Skin Illusion Mineral Foundation, Natural Radiance Foundation. So we have Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. This is another thing. I haven't tried this yet, but I suspect that's going to be the same story that I had with um hourglass because i have super dry skin hopefully summertime will be a lot better oh just a little goodie bag that macy's threw in there with my purchase they have sample perfumes 
This is Bobbi Brown Eye Repair Cream. Curious to try that. It has some good reviews there online. Clinique Blended Face Powder and Brush. Came with that little brush too. Had wonderful reviews. Clinique is actually a very good brand, but it's not super pricey. So I was excited to try this one out as well. So kind of twisted, but it, it's too tiny for a, a powder. So I'm definitely going to have to use another brush. With that, then we have NARS. Oh, that's right. I did buy NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This was highly recommended by Tati. So we will see how that goes for my super dry skin. Then we have MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And people have been saying really, really good things about it. It has nice reviews. Bobbi Brown Longwear Even Finish Compact Foundation. Another product I picked up from Nordstrom Racks. Laura Pro powder cheek stain and they promise 12 hours of wear we'll see how that goes the color is coral crush urban decay lip liner got it for like 10 bucks My ysl concealer it's a tiny little product though you pay so much money and the amount that you get is not even that much but it worked very well to conceal my dark under eye circles comes in that stick form so it's a liquid concealer but um it stays put pretty well but it's also great to like do that spot concealing on your face too so that's that and just one last thing that i wanted to show you guys i got alex and annie bracelet actually is it two of them yeah two of them here it was on crazy sale. I, I believe I got it for like $14, even though it retails for like 30 something. So it's a very good price. And this is that, it just says peace on there. Finally, Laura Mercier Brightening Powder, the secret brightening powder. This is great to set your under eye area. It is super mattifying though, but it gives you just a tiny bit of that luminosity under. I like this a lot better than um, just regular Laura Mercier powder because for my under eye area, I mean, because it brightens the area. But if you have deeper skin tones, you might not like it as well because it will look like it's like that white overcast. So um, because my skin is so light, because this is one of the few powders that actually lightens up that under eye area, which is great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing Ulta and Drugstore Haul next. So please stay tuned for those videos as well. All right, guys, have a nice, wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.